This is a short video to make sure that you get all the emails that you should from senior leads. Now, you may remember you signed an agreement like this where you initialed each paragraph and then signed it at the bottom. It, it's a good idea to reread that. It's, uh, you can find it in your back office and reread it uh, because it, it talks about getting our emails. As it says here under account management, it says you acknowledge that email notifications and text messages are provided as a courtesy and that senior lead is not responsible for email or text notification not delivered for any reason. Therefore, you agree to regularly check your online account, accessible 24 hours a day for news postings and messages, which you'll find in there. Now, why is it that we push the burden of receiving our messages on you by having to check into your account? Well, that's because once an email leaves our company, we can't control what happens to it. So we know that most people think email looks like this. We send it, you get it. But it doesn't look like that. That's not what happens on the internet. What happens is we send it, then it goes through A, B, C, D, E, F, maybe G, H, I. It goes through at least a dozen nodes uh, or internet service providers before it gets to you. So it can get tripped up anywhere along the way. And once it leaves here, we can't control it. There's one thing you can control on your end, which is to make sure it doesn't go in your spam folder. So let me, let me show you how to do that. Um, let's say you use, hold on a minute, let me uh, go to a different screen. I'm going to delete that. So let's say you use Gmail and here you are in your Gmail account. Now you'll have this little gear on the right. Just click it and click settings. And when you do that, you'll have this row of things across the top and you want to click filters. Okay say create a new filter. A filter allows you to, you know, make some rules for what happens. So this filter will say, if I get an email from at seniorleads.com, that's what you want to say, create filter. What do you want to do? You want to never send it to spam. Okay. Always mark it as important. Maybe you want to click both of those, but cl certainly click this one. Okay. And then just say create filter. So now, whenever an email comes in, at least it won't wind up in spam or trash. It'll be sure to wind up in your inbox, okay? Uh, what happens if you use Yahoo? Very similar idea. Here you are in Yahoo email. There's a little gear. You go to settings. Uh, let's, uh, filters, right? And, you know, the kind of patterned after each other. So let's say you want to add filter name. You're going to call it Senior Leads, okay? And the from contains at senior leads. You don't even need the at sign, quite frankly. You can just type seniorleads.com. Okay, tell you what, you can just do that. Uh, don't click the match case. It doesn't matter because it's always going to come lowercase, but it doesn't matter. Move the message to this folder, to the inbox. Save. Bingo. Now anything from seniorleads.com will go to the inbox. What if... Um, oh, let's say what if you have Outlook? Okay. All right. So when you get things to Outlook, this looks a little different. Here, you go over here, you click up top. Now, this is Outlook 2010. You click File. 2007 may look a little different. I'll show you. You click. Uh, actually, you know what? Here's an easier way to do it. Let's just go home. See this little button that says Junk? Click that. Click Never Block Sender. Whoops. I'm sorry. Go to here. Chunk Mail Options. <laughs> Click on safe, res safe senders. Email from addresses or domains on your safe senders list will never be treated as junk mail. Okay, so add. And then type at seniorleads.com. So anything coming from senior leads, click it. And then just say okay. And that way, that'll always go into your inbox instead of winding up and delete it or spam or something like that. Okay, now, what if you don't have Gmail or Yahoo or uh, Outlook? No problem. You go to Google and type in how to whitelist in, uh, oops, I'm sorry, hold on a minute, how to, let me, it's called, by the way, getting a, 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 an email into your inbox is called whitelisting. How to email list in Thunderbird, or, you know, if that's what you use. 
and bingo, here we go, instructions. Or you may have to ask if you're at a big company, you might say, uh, listen, I'm going to get emails from this outside company. Uh, you may have to ask the technology person in your office if you're with a big company. But you get the idea. You can always, always, always whitelist an address so it goes into your inbox and not a spam folder. Thanks.